Jet planes in the night sky with you Getting high in the sunrise with you guys. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Jenna. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for being here, guys. So I have four piles today. We're going to find out what you're overcoming right now. Um, when I flipped these, I got I got like a lot of downloads about each one just instantly. So I'll be able to tell you what I'm getting intuitively. And then we'll throw some cards to find out what you're overcoming. So guys, I'm so excited. Thank you for being here. If you would like a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description below. If you guys would like to check out my new Patreon, it's amazing. We have a uh, one other person with like mindedness. So if you'd like to join the very small very small intimate group that we have over there on Patreon. Please do not hesitate to subscribe. It'd be really fun to have you over there uh, for star seeds, soul family, any sort of chat about mediumship, all that stuff. We talk about that good stuff over there. So if you're interested, please check that out. Anyway, guys, we have four piles, the shark, the camel, zebra, and buffalo, one, two, three, four. I will see you at your pile. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye. Okay, pile one. Well, instantly, this is this is so obvious. Uh, you're you're <laughs> you're in shark infested waters, my friend. It feels like you are overcoming a lot of narcissistic revenge. I'm getting revenge with this card, like people who are really sabotaging your efforts. Um, it's as if people can see you glowing and shining, and they are not particularly fond of it. I feel. Um, I feel like you guys are overcoming this need to almost be. <sighs> How do I word this? Like. The shark, okay, you're, you're, you're overcoming the need to be prey, all right? This predator needs prey, and you're just like, I'm done. I'm not it anymore. You can move on. You can move on. You can find somebody else. Like, I'm not the one. I'm not your dinner today. That's what I'm feeling you guys are overcoming, this need to, like, be everybody's everything, okay? Um, it feels like, to me, you guys have really overcome a lot of, wow, there's judgment right there just popped out. You guys have overcome a lot of shadow work. Like, you have really started to see that you are... Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> that's funny. I just heard that. Um, anyway, from Finding Nemo, you might be a Pisces. That's cute. Uh, anyhow, guys, I feel like you have really seen that you're not, you're not this type of predator. You're not this. Okay. You might have been surrounding yourself with people like this, but you're not this. Um, and it feels like you've had some sort of spiritual awakening, some sort of glow up where you realized I can't do this anymore. Like, people are really coming at you from left and right. I feel everybody's out to get you. That is crazy. Wow. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you were kind of in an illusion for a while. You were kind of, I hate to say it, guys. You were being manipulated. Okay. I feel like you were in a fog. You might have even had brain fog or some sort of um, almost like, cloudy judgment. I'm telling you right now, people who don't believe in black magic, I ask you why. I don't get it. I don't get why people don't believe in that shit. Like it is so real. Okay. It is so real. Um, anyway, I feel like you guys have just recently come out of a very, very hard cycle and it feels like you were kind of in an illusion, kind of in a fog. Um, and I feel you went within and you found the source within yourself to get out of this. Um, and this is where you're like, you know what? I'm way better. I'm way better than these people. I'm way better than these predators. They can just go. They can just go. Um, and so that's what you're telling the universe now. And I feel like the universe is going to reward you for that, for believing in yourself, knowing that you're better than that. Whoa. There's Ace of Cups. Guys, okay, listen. This card for me is all about self-love. Like it's all about self-love before the Two of Cups. Ace of Cups before the Two, okay? You gotta have self-love first. And I feel like this is about to really help you bring in people who are a lot more loving, okay? A lot more gentle. These people were just like predators. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm feeling that way, okay? You had some sort of illusion. You were kind of, there was like, there was a veil, okay? Um, and you were below the veil of consciousness. You were asleep. I, I, yeah, you were asleep and you heard the judgment call. You're like, that trumpet sounds mighty nice right now. I need to wake my ass up. So I feel you did. I feel you are overcoming this need to be everybody else's food supply. God, I know it sounds so morbid. Sorry. It's just this shark. I got to flip it over, actually. I don't like looking at it. It's the shark. It's this, it's this predator like energy. I feel when you're around them, you turn into a totally different person. You turn into a totally different person. You don't even understand it. You're like, how? How? I was so nice before. I was such a sweet person. How the hell did this happen? That's because they're a shark, honey. They're a shark. Okay? They are a shark. 
All right, let's see if I can get some more about uh, what else you're overcoming. What else is pile one overcoming, please, Spirit? What is pile one overcoming? Whoa. Okay, got the five of wands upright with the king of pentacles in reverse. Um, so the five of pen or five of wands, did I say five of pentacles? So sorry. King of pentacles in reverse with the five of wands. I kind of feel like there's something here about competition when it comes to the workplace. I feel like, yeah, I feel like what it is, is this need to always be right. It's not you though. See, I really need to preface this. This is not you. Okay. This is not your problem. This energy is someone else. And it feels like it very well could be in the workplace as well. Um, and what I feel like is happening here is this King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who has a lot, but are so stingy. And I feel like around this person, you started to embody that energy of like defiance, kind of buttholeness, you know, you started to become this person. I, I hate to tell you, it could be a um, Virgo Capricorn Taurus, but they're just super bullheaded, stubborn and kind of defiant. And you started to take on their energy. You're definitely overcoming this though. You're definitely, it's self-love. It's self-love. You might even be moving away from them. You might be a little bit afraid about moving right now. So you might be moving very soon, guys. Nine of swords with, you're, you're manifesting a move, okay? And I feel like you guys are a little bit terrified about this because this is your comfort zone. It's not comfortable, but it's your comfort zone. This, excuse me, this is where you've been for a really long time. So it's almost like you're afraid of the unknown, which is totally explainable. I can I understand that completely. Um, but yeah, the nine of swords with the cherry, I feel you're moving very fast in a new direction and it kind of freaks you out with the nine of swords, but you're all, you're changing. Like you're changing so much inside. You can't stay where you're not welcome. This person, these people, this environment, they never welcomed you and you never felt whole and complete within this paradigm. This is shifting. You cannot stay here anymore. It cannot happen. Okay. You love yourself too much now to let this happen. So basically what I'm seeing too with the King of Pentacles, there was another message before I threw two more cards. Um, not only is this work, but this is somebody who might be a boss figure in your life, like an authority figure of some sort. Could be a dad, could be a mom, could be a landlord. It could, it's just, I'm kind of getting like a, um, an authority, an authority. And they almost like, I don't know, they're just bored here with the five of wands. They just want to like, they just want competition. They, they, I don't know why. Why is this? Why does this person want this? High Priestess. Because you're really glowing up, guys. You really have a, a huge uh, glow up happening. Ten of Wands in reverse. None of their um, bullets are even phasing you anymore. So this High Priestess here, you are really going within. So you had the Hermit and I got the High Priestess. Again, you're going through a spiritual. Plus this. Oh, my God. Dude, the spiritual awakening for Pile 1 is outrageous. <laughs> it's like... um. Yeah, it's the craziest. I've never, I don't think I've ever read where the judgment card, the high priestess and the hermit in the same reading. Um, yeah, you guys are really going through a spiritual awakening and this person is starting to, you're like agitating their demons. I hate to tell you, you're, you're agitating the shit out of them. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here with some of this. Look at that. I see demons and I split the deck open. That almost looks like one. I don't know why, but I'm getting that with fragment here. They really want to cause you chaos. They want to cause you this disruption. It's not going to happen though. It's not going to happen. What is pile one changing the most? What are they changing about themselves right now? Like, how are they overcoming this? Wow. Denial. You're really facing things that you denied for a long time, guys. And it's okay. It's totally okay. All of us are waking up. All of us lived below the veil of consciousness. Every last human being on earth. This happens. This is happening globally. Okay. It's not just you. We all lived in denial. All of us. All of us, but you're waking up. You're like, this can't happen anymore. What did I say about food supply? It's almost like these people were grabbing you like you were somehow nourishing them. It's just, nah, nah. It's kind of morbid and gross the way that it's being presented. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's like you were just somebody else's energy supply. It's just gross, grotesque here. Nah, you're really overcoming this. How, how are they overcoming this, please? The fledgling. Okay, so this card for me talks about like individuality, expressing yourself the way that you need to be expressed, listening to your own intuition, not listening to other people. Okay, not listening to people who say, well, you, you can't do that. See, that's not how it's been done. We've never done it like that. That's not how society works. You need to pay attention. You need to get with the program. No, go within. We are here to change the world, not to keep existing in the same one. No, we're, we're starting a new one, okay? Reset, total new one. Here we are, starseeds, 
unite. Yeah, chaos. Wow, look at that. See, you do have a lot of chaos going on. You got nine of swords here and then the nine of swords here in this deck. Um, but yeah, we're here to we're here to kind of do this. Okay. We're not here to conform. And you're just like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done conforming. People that don't get me, they don't get me. Peace out, home skillet. Oh my god. This came in the combination of these two. Letting go and strength. Look at that. The strength and you letting go is out of this world crazy. And I'm so fucking proud of you because it takes so much. It takes so much effort to do so. I'm about to cry. Uh, it, it, I am so proud of you. And I feel like your spirit guides are so damn proud of you too. Like you are just letting go because you don't really want to stay there anymore. You are extremely strong for letting this go. And I am here to encourage you to keep going. Okay, this move that you want to manifest, either a new job or a house. I feel like it's a house for most of you. I feel this is very much a house and it's somebody you're getting out of, you're getting a, um, could be a divorce, I guess, I suppose. But this is more like maybe you live with your parents or something. It's just a controlling energy. I feel like this move is very much going to happen. Okay, let's see if I can get one card about the move for you because I feel like whoever's moving, you kind of need that guidance complicated in reverse. So see it as simple. See it as simple. All you need is a home. Tell the universe, I need a home. I don't care where I go. I just need a home. Give me someplace safe. Give me someplace warm and welcoming and someplace where I can grow. That's all I need. It's I, I almost see spirit uprooting you from a tiny little cup, you know, and they're like transporting a seedling to a bigger container. That's what they're doing. I feel you are, oh my God. Oh my God. I literally, I swear to everything, I didn't see that. I literally was thinking, you guys need to ask for just a place, like a place where you belong. I said very welcoming too. Wow, that's crazy. You guys need to, you're going to find a house, okay? You're going to move. You're going to move. You're going to find a location, okay? Like you're going to find a place. Um, But you just need to start asking the universe to have a place where you belong, okay? Can I get one more for pile one before we go? What are they overcoming? What are they overcoming? Love in reverse. Love it. Your heart chakra is about to open. Your heart chakra is about to open, guys. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. But again, this is telling me divorce for a lot of you. Divorce or leaving a some sort of uh, job, something where you had like a signed contract, okay? Um, but it kind of closed your heart. It made you feel very closed, very rigid, very mean and cruel at times. But it's, again, it's not you. It's not your energy, okay? You need to know that. Um, so this closed rigidity here, this is from the shark, okay, which you are overcoming. It's like you won't even, soon you won't even remember that shark. You'll flip it over like it's nothing, okay? All right, guys, I hope that reading helped you. If you want a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, hello, camel. Those who chose pile two, the camel. Okay, so when I was pre-shuffling, I got that you guys are seeing that everyone else seems to be succeeding but you. That's what it, what it felt like. But you're you're definitely entering a new phase of your life where it's going to be like you don't have this. And I'm not saying you were envious or jealous, but it, get, it gets really tough to see everybody else doing the exact same thing as you, working just as hard as you, and you're not getting anything. You're not getting anywhere. You're getting breadcrumbs. So the camel, I feel, is in the desert. He doesn't have a lot of sustenance you know, to provide for him. So it feels like you guys are getting out of this period, a dry spell, where it feels like everything for everyone else was working out. But for you, you were like the last to get your abundance. That's what it feels like. You were the last to know. <laughs> You're the last to know clarity about where to go. You're the last to know good news. You were the last to have good news. You're the last to have everything. Um, and it feels like that is really about to change for you. Okay, so this camel, he's talking to me just a second. Let me listen. He's pretty quiet. Again, something was quiet too. Like everything was quiet and still. It's like you needed things to move, but they weren't moving for you. Yeah, interesting. Okay, let's see what this what this uh, has to do with the tea in China. All right, let's see. Camel, please, Barry. Can I get some confirmation here? What is pile two overcoming at this time? What is pile two overcoming at this time, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. What is pile two overcoming at this time? What kind of energy are they overcoming? Oh my God, guys! Uh, Look, I freaking called it, bro. You have nine of pentacles in reverse and the wheel of fortune in reverse. Again, it was a dry spell. You weren't even making money. I feel like what happened was you stopped making money or you stopped being fulfilled financially. Like something, you could have even lost a job. You're about to overcome that shit, honey. All right, you got the nine of pentacles in reverse with the wheel of fortune in reverse. Like you are about to start, it's, start, it's gonna move again, okay? The wheel is going to turn again, but I feel like there was such a dry spell. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but you definitely felt insecure. You were not able to feel um, 
um, financially secure. It just wasn't happening. It felt almost like you were losing everything no matter how hard you tried. That is what you're overcoming very soon. Wow. How is this going to happen? How is this going to happen for Pile 2? How are they going to overcome? Oh my God. I just, this is not, oh my God. And then you have the star on the bottom. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. You have the queen of pentacles with the star. This is such a beautiful energy. Okay. Like I love it so much. You are about to heal your ability to receive. Okay. So what's coming in is this ability for you to manifest, but not block it, not have your own mind in the way. Now you are about to overcome some huge subconscious blockage about money and why you have not allowed money into your life. Pile two, this is definitely about money. So if this isn't your reading, you want to pick a different pile. This is definitely for money. Those who have really gone without money or have been stumbling when it, like they receive money and then they have to give it away instantly. Like that's the energy I get for you. You are overcoming this because you are healing something within yourself that says, I'm worthy. I'm allowed to receive. I have enough. I am enough. I can want it. I'm going to go get it. Something has shifted and it's, you know, what's, I'm kind of going to give you this example. Um, for like a couple weeks, I've been really, really out of whack. Okay. And things haven't been progressing for me very much, but like I, something happened. I really got to rock bottom and I meditated for like an entire day. And ever since I did that, I have so much more stamina. I have so much more clarity. I'm so much more focused on what the frick I want out of life. And that is what's happening with you. But see, here's, here's what I was going to say. Nothing is different in my life except me. I live in the same house. I'm using the same cards. I have the same camera. I have the same everything, same voice, same everything. But yet my readings are so much more powerful. My energy is so much more potent. My desires are so much more attainable. Everything is so much more, it's backed by more energy now than it wasn't before. And I feel that's what's happening with you. Something is going to shift within you to get you to heal this motherly type feminine energy in you that needs to receive. Okay, it's the feminine that receives within us. Okay, so you are about to have a big breakthrough when it comes to financial gain. Okay, is this a new job? What is this? What is this? It's it's a it's a blockage removed. I'm hearing. It's no longer going to be dry. It's like things are going to come in. How are they going to come in? Page of Pentacles. You got you see you have so many Pentacles. Okay, it, it's definitely money. It's definitely money. So they got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I'm wondering why that's in reverse. Hold on. It's almost like that's an external energy. I feel that's someone else. I feel that's someone else. Um, tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. Why is that here? Eight of Cups. Yeah, I don't think... Okay, so if you've been working with someone else or you've been like giving ideas to other people about what you're going to do, I feel that this is stopping. I feel you're about to just go within and figure it out on your own. I don't think you're going to really tell people. I don't think you're really going to like give too much to other people right now, okay? You're walking away from this, um, really holding on too tightly because you're afraid. You're afraid of going and advent um, venturing out, okay? Um, you're, you're getting tired of that and you're, you're letting that go. When I'm holding this energy, I feel extremely exhausted. I almost, I think that this is an external person and I feel it's exhausting you. There's someone draining your energy because they're a page and they're a page in reverse nonetheless while you're a queen upright, see? This energy over here feels very much like somebody who's a taker, but they don't even know they're taking. And I don't know that you know you're giving because they're younger than you, I believe. They're more naive and they're definitely less mature. Okay, they're definitely less mature. Ten of Pentacles, you have no clue how much this has impacted your financial stability. You have no idea. This is, there's so much money written in here, like written in here. There's so much money on the table that it's, um, interesting. I didn't mean to say that. I channeled written in here. Maybe you're writing a book or maybe you're scripting how to write I don't, or you're writing. I don't know. There's something about writing going on here. This person's draining the shit out of you is what I'm trying to say. Okay. You need to withhold your energy from them for a while. Okay. Cause you got 10 of cups on the bottom. This is your 10 of cups. Okay. You have so much abundance coming in. You've got to withhold a little bit from people who are draining you. And it's this page of pentacles. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Who is this? Who is this? What do they want? Oh, wow. Got the Six of Swords in reverse. They don't really ever see... They, this person doesn't ever really see, like, success in the same way that you do. And they don't see how you guys could make it work, but they're still kind of trucking, trucking along. Um, 
this person doesn't there's something off about this person i'm sorry um okay the page of pentacles they're they're not seeing success the way you do okay give me more the six of why is this in reverse Wow, death. See, yeah, you're you're leaving this person behind because they it could be a Scorpio. I got Ace of Swords. You're starting to discover truth about this person. They don't see success the same way you do. They definitely do not. I don't know if they just like it's like they're it's like you're nurturing them, but they're just always like laying on your shoulder. You can't see that very well. Yeah, there you go. It's like you're you're the one nurturing them, but like they are just kind of dead weight, guys. I hate to I hate to say it. What are they overcoming? What is pile two overcoming? Wow, we got fragment here. Number 15 could be important for somebody. I don't know what that... And 48, obedience. Okay, I want one more. Hold on just a second. What are they overcoming, please? Conclusion. Yeah, um, you're really ending something that kind of kept your mind a little bit disoriented. Um, I feel like with this don't forget and reminder, you could even have been having memory problems. Because um, I feel you're just frazzled. You're fragmented. You're like kind of all over the place. You're too busy. You're too busy. Because you're dealing with other people's bullshit. And this obedience here, it's almost like you always had to be obedient to this page. But you didn't even know that you were doing that. This This could even be a child of yours. Um, this could be a kid. Like, it, it's young. It's a young energy. Um, and you're ending this. You're ending this, like, endless need to be someone's caretaker. Okay? Um, and because of that, I feel you're going to be a lot more abundant when it comes to your money. So what are, what are you overcoming? You're overcoming your dry spell. You're overcoming money blockages. Very, very clearly. That is, like, so evident. Wow. And we have oath in reverse. Again, you don't owe anybody anything. If this is a grown-ass kid, honey, you owe them nothing, okay? You don't owe them anything, okay? I'm getting with the obedience and oath here. It's like, again, you felt the need to be responsible for them all the time. And you're, you're like, breaking that oath. This could be divorce, too, which is kind of shocking because pile one had that. But with the obedience, this is definitely talking about law. Like, this could be some sort of legal thing. You're, you're breaking an oath. That's what it feels like. You're breaking an oath. A promise that you had made to somebody, you're breaking it because you're like, I am more important at this point. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Interesting. So I hope that reading helped you. If you want a personal reading with me, guys, all the information is in the description below. I love you. I would love to have you on Patreon. So if you want to stop by, check that out, please also check out the description. Wow. Letting go on the bottom of the deck, guys. Wow. A lot of us are moving out of these cycles. It's time. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, hello, guys. Pile three, the zebra pile. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out what you're overcoming, okay? This was the one that I, I'm still not kind of, I'm still kind of unsure with the zebra. I think that actually kind of um, ties in with your reading, the fact that I'm unsure. Um, because I feel like you guys have had some intuitive nudges lately, um, but you hadn't listened to them. I feel you weren't really listening, but you are now um, because this is the zebra's uh, third eye is woke, honey. Hello, woke. <laughs> OK, and I'm getting with the black and white. It's like you've been doing a lot of shadow work, integrating your shadow self here. Um, They're showing me they're showing me pesky little. <laughs> OK, um, pesky little problems that you've been encountering. They were like challenges or tests or something like that. It was like a, a universal test. Um, also too, I'm getting, if you have social media, there's somebody kind of stalking your social media that is not really, and I, I feel like you already know who it is. Like instantly when I say that, I think you already know who it is, but it's like, they say all the right things and they do the right things. They're really kind and stuff, but like they, I don't think they have your best interests at heart. Okay. I'm just going to say that. Um, but overall though, it looks like to me, you guys are getting aligned with who you are. I feel like you've just kind of gone to the pits of hell and discovered who you are. You almost like integrated so much of your shadow self into the light. You brought so much of your ego into the light that you kind of dissolved your ego. And I feel like you've, you've literally been to the pits of hell just to discover who you are. And you're starting to discover that you're a badass bitch. That's what I'm getting here. You're a badass bitch. You really are. Wow. Okay. So pile three, can I get some information as to what pile three is overcoming at this time, please, spirit? Oh, inner goddess. Yes. 
Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Oh my god. Yes, you sexy beast. Oh, honey. That, oh, I, I'm feeling that. I am feeling that energy. Like, I literally feel it. I feel it in my sacral chakra right now. Oh my God, do I feel that energy or what? Look, I read energy, okay, from cards. I got the transformation too. I read energy. And so this instantly just hit me like a ton of bricks. I feel so creative. I feel very ramped up. I feel, I just feel like that, that energy, you're about to have energy again where you didn't. You didn't have a creative spark, I feel, for a while because you were really in the pits of hell doing this shadow work. Um, it feels like to me, you are getting so clear about what you want now because the sacral chakra is all about what you want, your desires, your needs. What is it that you want? You are actually going so deep within now, within yourself to know what you want. Like, I almost feel like you've been alive for a really long time and no one's asked you what you want ever, ever. And now you're asking you, what do you want? What color do you want your hair? What kind of necklace do you want? What's your favorite bird? What's your favorite movie? That's the kind of stuff you're asking yourself now. All right, goddess. All right, I see you. I see you. Oh, honey, peace. Look at that. See, I feel like what you've just done is integrate your shadow into the light. You've literally just brought your ego to the light. That's what you just did. You just did that. Cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. What did I just say? You're going to get so much more energy soon. Guys, oh, yes. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Okay, so I'm getting so many messages. Hold on just a second, please. I need to take a chill pill. Hold on. Okay. First of all, the peace card. Um, what am I getting with peace? It's like you can finally take a breather. I feel you guys have been working so hard at going within. I like it, you just. I mean, it was so laborious. I feel like you're you're birth, birthing the Christ within you. Okay, so you're like you're bringing to the surface the higher self. This is awesome. What a cool reading. Peace. You're about to have peace. Oh, oh my God. We've got the lovers. Guys, I cannot make this up. Like I said, the light and dark attributes of yourself, the male and the feminine. Okay. Bring it together. The masculine, feminine, the dark, the, the light, you're, the yin and yang, all of it. Oh my God. This is such a cool fucking reading. I am so in love with this reading. Oh my God. I can't even, I can't do it. <laughs> so great. You guys have just brought back to life this part of you that had been dead for a while that's what I feel I feel it's been dead and you just brought it back to life by going within like you went to the pits of hell baby you went to the pits of hell wow also too um I do kind of find it funny that there's a baby here and a baby here is also maybe some of you are pregnant and you are gonna have a baby I just you'll be overcoming labor soon <laughs> uh but anyway I that's just for a couple of you but dude this energy is so crazy like you're about to create a lot more too creation creation. I'm getting creation very heavily. Creating with your hands, making art, videos. I don't know. Just creation. You're just going to put it out there. You're going to put it out there. And you're not going to give a shit who has to say anything. Cycles and rhythms, please. Energy levels. I'm seeing energy levels on that card. Energy levels. Ten of wands in reverse. King of swords in reverse. Yeah, I'm seeing, normally I see the King of Swords with something like this. That's kind of like narcissistic with the Ten of Wands, but I, that's not what I'm getting here. I'm almost seeing that the King of Swords was you unsure of where to move forward next. That was causing your energy to like go in a million different places because you never knew which direction you were supposed to focus your attention on. It's like you have a limited amount of energy in a day and you had 10 different, 10 different arrows pointing in 10 different directions but they were all leading you down <laughs> to hell. It really does feel like you went to hell. That's what it feels like. It feels like you just overcome hell. I hate, I just, I hate to say it like that, but that's what it feels like. Um, and so now you're going up, 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 up. Um, and you're not really needing to think about it anymore. You're leading by your heart, not your logic, not your intellect anymore. This is what's allowing your energy to go um, more towards one thing in particular, laser focused, all that energy, the same amount of energy you had scattered across 10 things, you're now putting towards one path. And can you imagine, can you imagine the, le the level of fierceness? <laughs> I mean, I couldn't even, this world has never seen such a thing. So this is why your energy is going to pick up soon. Wow. 
there it is, Ace of Cups. You are about to have an amazing time creating something you're really passionate about. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Can I get more about what they're overcoming? What is pile, what is this, three? What's pile three overcoming? Zebra pile, what are they overcoming? What are they overcoming? What kind of energy are they overcoming? I just heard stagnancy, like feeling like you're just bored. Yeah, no, it's not gonna be like that anymore. There's fun things to do. There's fun things to do. Even if it's just you hanging out with yourself, painting your toenails. That's what I'm feeling. Like, there's fun things to do. I know that, like, right now, a lot of people don't go out and stuff. But, like, there's still fun things to do. You can do it. You can go outside, sit under a tree, and sing to a banjo. I don't know. The moon. Yeah. Oh, this, this phase of uncertainty. Like, not knowing where the hell you're supposed to go. You're about to overcome that, guys. Wow. The devil with the seven of wands in reverse. Hold on. The devil. The seven of wands in reverse. Give me a second. I need one more for the seven of wands. Nine of swords. I feel like you're leaving, but yeah, you are. You're kind of leaving. You might even be ghosting somebody. Like, okay. Um, I feel this is you doing this, not the other way around. I think you're dealing with a person as well. Okay, so this is an additional message on top of what you're already overcoming. There was this connection that you had with somebody that was really toxic and it was taking all of your thoughts, all of it. I feel you were even dreaming about them. You were obsessing about them. Um, and you were not getting good sleep. You were having insomnia, stuff like that. And the seven of wands in reverse tells me that you're like... I think almost needing to recognize that around them, you don't have good defenses. Around them, you don't have good boundaries or borders. You, you don't really draw boundaries with them, okay? You kind of become a different person when you're around them. And that's what you're overcoming too. You're, you're starting to see that like that's what you did before. You would stay even though it was toxic, okay? Can I get one more card for, what do I want to clarify? What's coming in? What's coming in for pile three now? I heard rest assured. Rest assured. Wow. The strength card. Honey, rest assured. You are going to be so much stronger because of this. It was successful. I, I heard going to the pits of hell is success. It was successful. One more. Ah, oh, king of cups. Oh my God. And justice. There will be justice served for you. Okay. Um, I feel that there will be a lot more love coming into you from the king of cups. This is like a different kind of energy. This is so different. This is somebody who's nurturing and kind and gets you. It could be the form of friends, but if it's romantic, this is going to be like a very strong connection that comes in a very strong bond, but a healthy bond. This is healthy. This is emotional openness. Okay. This was toxic. This was toxic bullshit. Okay. This is beautiful. Um, so I feel like you could have a Leo coming in or Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, perhaps. I have Gemini here as well. Um, it feels like, or a Libra, right? A Libra. I'm getting that you are about to start accepting offers from people who are also strong-willed like you. You don't need these weak people anymore who don't really want to fight their demons. You have just overcome your demon here, okay? The beast, your ego, the beast here, you've overcome it. The strength card is literally defeating the be the beast. That's what the strength card is. It's like, you've done that. Now you need to find people who have done that as well. It's only fair. It's only fair. Okay. So anyway, guys, I hope that reading helped you. If you would like a reading with me, all the information is in the description. I love you so much. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Pile four. Hello, Balafalo. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Okay. Um, I'm trying to tune in to what... <laughs> okay. Um... All right, look, I hate to say this, I think it's you. Um, you are overcoming your own defiance, your own stubbornness, your own stick in the assitis. You are overcoming your own defiance. That's that's all I can say. You're overcoming your own inability to see past your own ego. There, there I said it. I feel you guys have been extremely dominant lately which is great look it's totally great when you're setting boundaries you know it's great to establish boundaries by being a little bit dominant sometimes you have to be dominant um but you might have taken it a bit too far okay um i'm not look i'm not judging please don't think i'm judging like honestly i do this shit all the time i i go way too far every day honey every day every day i tell somebody to f off like i basically do um so what i'm getting here though is with the buffalo you we're kind of like this gentle giant, though. You were a little bit defiant and a little bit 
too stern in your boundaries, but at least you were kind about it, okay? I do find you were kind. It's never like you intentionally hurt anyone. You were just kind of excessive with the boundaries, I feel, is what's happening. Um, and I'm even too noticing the line here in this symbol, which I can't think of what the symbol stands for. I don't know. I think there's four symbols. So I think it's earth, water, something like that. I don't know. But um, yeah, I feel like you kind of went a little bit uh, heavy with the boundaries. Um, okay. You might have gone too heavy with somebody and not heavy enough with someone else. What I feel you're overcoming is this inability to differentiate between who needs your boundaries heavily and who doesn't. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the the inability to know who is who, basically. Are they the real deal or are they fake? Should you draw boundaries or should you let them in? That's what I'm seeing. Wow, true love here. This is great. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Oh, awesome. You guys, what's crazy is I'm kind of getting that you're in a good place, though. Like, I, I feel, Pile 4, you guys are pretty okay. Like, you've been working on yourself, and I just heard working on my fitness. I just heard that. Okay, you've been working on yourself. Um. Okay, it's making sense. You've been doing so much work on yourself that the universe has brought a lot of people to you, and this is why you've needed to have your boundaries strengthened. Now, if this isn't your story, this is about to happen. I'm talking multiple people, not just one, multiple people, friends, romantic partners, perhaps uh, just coworkers, everybody new, new, fresh energy in your life. And so that's, I think, why you were preparing you. Were, it's almost like you were showing how yourself how to draw boundaries and they got really, really strong, which is good, which is good. Um, that's what that's what is over, being overcome, though, is that you kind of, I think, for a little bit of time, maybe went a little heavy. A little excess, a little excessive on some of the boundaries. Because not everybody's going to break your heart. But I think that there were some that were still breaking your heart mixed in with these new people coming in and you couldn't tell the difference. That's what I'm getting. That's You're overcoming that. Okay. What is pile four overcoming, please, spirit? What are they overcoming at this time? Thank you. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. Oh, honey. You got sorceress here. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. See, again, I feel you manifested new people. I feel you already did. I feel you already are. Like, this is already happening. I don't feel so much it's in the future. And you have prosperity as well on the bottom. I, see, again, you guys have your shit together. Like, this is a good pile. Okay, hold on. If you guys had thought you'd be single forever or like you just you didn't know if you wanted a long term commitment, I feel that's going to be changing for you, pile four. I feel you're going to find the one that kind of makes you reconsider things. Wow. You got blossoming here. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Again, there's so many new people and it's definitely people coming in for you that um, you might feel sometimes overwhelmed and want to give up and just say, like, I don't really want anybody. I don't really want anybody. I just I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine alone. But the, the thing is, you're manifesting these people because the, the universe needs you to know that you're not alone. And listen, this is the message I'm getting. It's times like these when you get this influx of beautiful people into your life that a lot of nasty vermin come into, okay? I am just telling you. I'm telling you because this is why you had to learn to strengthen these boundaries. This is where sneaky ass people come in and they try to pretend that they're something they're not. But you do have the real deal coming in. They're just coming in as well as some false ones too, okay? People that aren't always for your highest good. That's why you needed these um, boundaries, okay? Look at this. I have independent on the bottom. See, I was saying like, you guys are so bullheaded. You're so stubborn. You're like, no, I got it. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. But independence in reverse because it doesn't matter. Spirit's like, no, we want you to have someone though. We're going to at least give you the choice. Sure, you can be independent for the next 80 years if you want to be, but you and I both know if the right person came along and they treated you right, why would you not want them? And you're about to have that, but it's this other energy, other sneaky snakes that are coming in. They're slithering their way in because you're getting a huge um, surge of people in your life. That's why, okay? All right, let's get some other... Man, I miss reading cards. Like... I've been MIA for a while. I've been asleep at the wheel, guys. I've been going through my own shadow work, my own ego deaths, and I feel like I've just been down for the freaking count. All right, let's do this. What do we have for pile? Oh, son of a biscuit. Sorry, guys. Oh, son of a biscuit. 
Okay. Pile four. What do we have? What do we have? Pile four. Where are they overcoming? Ooh, honey. What did I freaking say? Oh, damn. Conclusion and deceit. You are ending deceit. I'm getting there are a lot of wolves and sheep clothing that are approaching you. Okay. Um, if you have even the slightest suspicion, listen, if you even have the slightest suspicion that someone might not be the one, you need to address it. Okay. I'm not, not like address it like, Hey, by the way, I think you're a snake. No, 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 no. I'm getting, you need to like comment to them or make, make, make it, make it known that you're on to them in a way like that you're ending this deceit, this deception, like, like, oh, I don't appreciate that you said that to me. Um, I don't really, I don't like that. I don't talk to you that way. Don't talk to me that way. That's, that's how it's going to be, um, going forward. Cause your boundaries are so strong now. But again, guys, please be aware that if you have an influx of people coming in and you're getting these people, yeah, draw strong boundaries with these people. Like you should, you should, you should kick them to the curb. But the ones that are actually truly loving try to go easy okay because i feel like if they haven't broken your heart yet don't don't lump them in with everybody from the past okay because they're not they're not the people from the past what is this pile manifesting what is this pile manifesting here with sorceress what are they manifesting at this time spirit what are they manifesting wow okay we, we've got strength with cycles in reverse hold on Yeah, you're overcoming this this um, constant cyclical behavior of letting people take advantage. And it's because your boundaries are so damn strong now, guys. Like, you really have strength in your boundaries to a point where it's just, it's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's They're so strong. They're so strong that people don't want to mess with you. <laughs> like, like, they don't. They don't want to mess with you. But I feel like what you're manifesting now is a lot more people that are strong like you okay also have their force field up okay also have their boundaries in place um and with cycles in reverse um i'm gonna get a card about this hold on why is cycles in reverse please what, what cycle is ending here what is this six of swords in reverse almost self-sabotage here i feel like um feeling like you'll never get anywhere better like you'll never meet anybody better you'll never fall in love with anybody kinder you'll never like that kind of thing like almost self-sabotage like i'm just gonna be alone forever so i might as well enjoy it and it th th as much as that's fun look i'm single as a pringle honey and i freaking love it okay um there was also this element of like you not working with others you not cooperating with others you were so stubborn so three of pentacles in reverse it's like you are overcoming this uh need to be overly independent overly strong with boundaries overly rigid you're overcoming that okay What's coming in because of that? Oh, oh, we got the page of wands and the five of swords. Again, two different energies. You have these passionate, awesome people that are coming in that are bringing in a loving messages and they're very passionate, very fun. These people are your people. And then we've got the others, the five of swords, the people who bring in conflict and anger and hatred and all this bullshit. You have two energies coming in. It's your job to differentiate between the two. Okay. Um, with that said, guys, I hope that reading helped you. I love you so much. If you'd like a personal reading with me, check out the info in the description. Also check out my Patreon if you're interested. That'd be really fun. You can meet your soul family over there. You guys have nine of cups on the bottom. So keep going. You're going to get there. I promise. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.